Hey everybody, welcome back. It's your girl Nishi J. Today is Juneteenth. And Juneteenth is the holiday that commemorates the emancipation of the enslaved African Americans. After President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, Galveston, Texas were the very last to get the news. Two years later, in 1865, on June 19th. And just a little side note, slavery was still legal in Kentucky and Delaware until the ratification of the 13th Amendment on December 1865. Today, only 47 states acknowledge Juneteenth. And of those 47, only a few consider it a paid holiday. In Coahuila, Mexico, the Muscogos, descendants of the Black Seminoles, also celebrate Juneteenth. Los antepasados de nosotros fueron negras, nosotros somos negras. Según las pláticas que oímos de los antepasados, creo que ellos lucharon, ¿verdad?, para dejarnos esta tierra. Y estamos orgullosas, ¿verdad?, me siento orgullosa de ser negra, de pertenecer. Oh, man. Okay, at this very moment, there is a Black Lives Matter march downtown Panama City on Harrison Avenue, where only a few decades ago, Black people were allowed to be on or near Harrison Avenue. So should I take my car or the magical door again? Yeah, let's go that way. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Say it, man. Say it, man. Thank you for remembering why we're here. And just remember that Panama City and Bay County is always going to be stronger together. We are all together, black, white, and indifferent, okay? So maybe we can set the example for the rest of the country. The key to our success, if we want to truly be the premier city in the Panhandle of Florida, is that we know we can do it. We've got the secret sauce, and that is being better together. Because black lives matter, some people are still a little confused as to when we say black lives matter, that we mean no other lives matter. What we are really saying is that black lives somehow seem to be the last to matter. And so we've come here today to say we are stronger together, better together, forever together. Never in the history of Bay County have all the chiefs of police, the sheriff, and in this case, the FDLE Commission to come together to condemn a particular action. We did that right here, Bay County. But we also see it in corporate America. Come on, y'all. We see it in education. We see it in housing. We see it in many places. Racism is still and always has been the ghost in the room. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring in the schoolhouses. Let freedom ring in the courthouses. Let freedom ring in the church houses. Let freedom ring in the white houses. Let freedom ring in every black child, for every white child, for every red child, for every yellow child. Let it ring for equality for all Americans. No justice. Somebody said, well, why are we marching down in Harrison Avenue this morning? Back in the 50s and 60s, uh, hello. We couldn't go down Harrison Avenue. It was colored only signs over on this side and the white folk on that side. But look at us together. Look at what's going on right now. When black lives are under attack, what do we do? No justice. And the lawyer in me said, well, maybe they should just run over there and tackle the man and knock him off of, the, off of George Floyd's neck. But then the lawyer in me said, well, then that would mean that those people would have been arrested and they would have been injured and they would have had a knee on their neck. And so I thought the, the lawyer in me said, well, call the authorities, call 911. Well, they already had, that's what's there. I don't need reparations. Give my son a free ride to college. He'll do the rest. I'm gonna make sure he does. I'm here for him. So we're saying, I can't breathe in remembrance of George Floyd and everyone that met the brutality of our police. But from here on out is, I can breathe because we are worthy of life. I can breathe because we are divinely made. The problems go way higher than the police system. The problems that we see today start with our federal government. The problems that we see today start 
with the Constitution that is antiquated. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun. Let us march on till victory is won.